So I, I actually want to um, point out that someday you're going to regret that you're not sitting in the front row to see our student speakers because they will be famous one day, I believe. And I am very proud to introduce um, our student speakers today because obviously this is one of my favorite things about um, our first day back. And uh, I always have the pleasure of getting to know them a little bit um, and also trying to encourage them to present in front of almost 400 people, which imagine, and I say this every year, I just can't imagine being 16, 17, 18 years old and presenting in front of a group of 400 people. So um, I bring the love, even though you're not sitting super close, bring the warmth as Zach uh, just encouraged us to do. Uh, but it's really my pleasure to introduce to you our first student speaker, Mr. Kevin Herrera. seven, eight times a day. It, all, it got so bad that my, both my face and body turned yellow. One day, my teacher pulled me out of class because I didn't look like my usual self. And they took it upon themselves and called my parents and they had them take me to the hospital. My parents were confused and had no idea what I had or what, I, or what it was. The doctors were very concerned and gave my parents an option, <coughs> some options, of taking me to the hospital of California by a helicopter or Seattle Children's Hospital by an ambulance. We chose Seattle. Once I got, once I got there, I was prepped for surgery. I remember putting, them, putting a mask over my face. I was staring at the ceiling above me, bright lights shining, hearing this ringing noise in my ear. In my ear. After that, I slept for what I felt like almost a month. And when I woke up, I did not remember anything. I did not understand that my surgery was a liver transplant. There were tons of fluids, tubes, and wires going through my arm, into my neck, and through my nose, and down my throat. I saw the blood transfusion machine and freaked out. I was scared and uncomfortable. My fear agonized me to the point where there were nurses and, at my side and trying to hold me down. <laughs> the aftermath of my surgery was having to miss a lot of school. I missed the end of third grade and some of fourth grade. At first, I had to take 13 pills a day and checkups in Seattle once a week. Since I missed school, I learned quickly how to catch up with missed work. I felt alone because my friends didn't give me the help I needed I felt like the teacher didn't have time for me. This incident was impacted, has impacted my life a lot. Just the fear of thinking that day would be my last. I still take 13, I still take three pills a day and travel to Seattle once a year to make sure I am healthy. I, am only, I can only eat certain, eat certain foods to ensure my liver conti continues to work for me. Today, my doctors, my parents, my teachers, and my friends gave me a lot of support and inspired me to be successful every day. I have learned that even surgery cannot stop me from having my future that I deserve. What helps me as a student is one-on-one -on -one support from teachers. I will always give 100% if I know what to do in your class. Teachers who took the time to meet, me, meet with me one-on-one -on -one during class or after school. 
helped me the most because I don't always understand directions that are presented to the whole class. I need extra processing time to ensure I am able to do my best and meet your expectations. If you can also teach me life lessons around how completing the work it will help me in my life after school, then I am especially motivated. I am successful with teachers who are organized, who have clear routines and procedures, who don't give too many directions at once and give me access to all materials I need. I've earned a D minus in, in the class because I did not understand the assignments or how to get help in class. And the very next year, with a different, more organized teacher, I earned an A in the same subject. For me, the teacher makes a big difference. Some of you may check your clip class list and see I have an S by my name, by my picture. I have an IEP for communication and I have pulled out a class sometimes to work on my speech communication and comprehension. As you can see from this speech, I am really incapable of doing challenging work. I am able to excel when someone gives me a hand. My EEP has not stopped me from getting good grades. I want to go to college after I graduate. Now, in the future, I don't know what's going to happen, but now I just live in the moment. Since my surgery, I live every day in hoping it's not going to happen again. Hoping I won't miss a single pill and doing whatever it takes to survive. Thank you. So uh, this next young man, uh, one of our seniors, uh, is you know simply a remarkable young man. Some of you know him, many of you know him, and um, I'm going to just invite him up here to share his story. Uh, I'd like to welcome Mr. J.J. Hudson. further and further out of the classroom each 
last year. Like, like students and teachers are, are building bonds outside of the classroom. And like, like, we have food pantries going on now. It's, it's not really out of the ordinary, but you know, it's it's something something that's that's going good that we that we have here at Park Rose. But um, I'm sure. No, not not I'm sure. I know that everyone here is the best at what they do. I have so much faith in the district of Park Rose and like. Like um, what you all do. Thankfully, like for our principal and Mr. Mr. Lopes here, we uh, I I got to shake hands with Damian Lillard. I got a signed pair of shoes. I got some photos, some good seats, and I don't think I would have got that in the other school. And, <laughs> uh, realistically, um, this this April, I moved into like a like a little living situation where it. It didn't quite work out, and it was a lot to happen in this one morning, and I didn't necessarily know what to do. And uh, what I did was text one of the teachers here at the school and ask them like what I should do next. And like if I didn't go here, I don't I don't, I don't think I would have trusted any other teacher at any other school to be able to like help me move into a place that I like and so with some of them supports me so much. But uh, enough about me, you guys. <laughs> I'm about to get you, that's what I'm about to get you. Uh, you guys want good or bad first? <laughs> no, I think you want good or bad first. Like, <laughs> wrong answer. <laughs> um, you guys, for the most part, everything's done well. Uh, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> uh, for the most part, Everything's done well. There's one thing I was telling uh, somebody about earlier. Yeah, this 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 fist to five thing you have going on. You know, 30, 30, 32 kids in the classroom. You ask, how much more time do you need? Fist to five. All 32. Five minutes. You look, you look. All right, two minutes for everybody. <laughs> self-criticize and they criticize you a lot about what you can do for uh, students and I personally believe one-on-one -on -one time is like some of the best time there's not a, a lot of kids who like speaking there's not really a lot of kids who move outside their bubble nowadays you know we have our phones we can do everything we want there like all by ourselves so like the one-on-one -on -one time is like amazing for a student because it's like you get to explain everything to like just them and you can like think about how they might need it to come out of your mouth, and it's it's truly like amazing. I had summer school this time around, uh, and I had a lot of one-on-one -on -one time to really understand my my math skills. And I had like problems with like I knew what to do, but I didn't know why I knew how to do it. And like I had a teacher, I had my summer school teacher help me out with these things and like how my brain works and all kind of funky things. So like, just the one-on-one -on -one time is amazing. And also, um, what do we have here on this note card? <laughs> on the back of my note card, it says, are you smiling? <laughs> um, but uh, da -da -da. the lesson uh, I'd like to leave all the teachers with, and like for teaching, even for your own kids, or anything else uh, dealing with other people, I say be the person that you needed when you were in high school, be the teacher that you needed to be, or be the teacher that you needed when you were in high school, when you were struggling, and understand that. You know, all students go through different things here in high school. You know, we realize that, you know, friends become family, and like family fades off, or, you know, certain things happen. And just with that, I'd like to close it out with some more audience participation. Uh, so right hand again, please. <laughs> Left hand.